Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of April 2022. I do hope that you guys had a good week. Um, as usual, I do want to say that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. If you find that that is your situation, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate better. It's actually a good practice anyway because it gives you a more well-rounded um, uh, reading, a, a more well-rounded energy. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the box beneath the video. And also keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. Okay, so let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Cancer? Cancer. Okay. All right, Cancer, you are starting out with the Two of Pentacles. You have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. And coming out together, you have the Nine of Cups reversed and the Two of Swords. Okay, so Cancer, I feel like um, I feel like you're kind of weighing up the pros and cons of a situation. You are really trying to find balance in this. I feel like it's tricky, and um, I. I feel like uh, there's a decision that needs to be made or and it doesn't feel like it's for you it feels like somebody else has a decision they've been delaying this decision or avoiding this decision and it's not it's not pleasing to you it's not making you very happy that's not what you want you don't want them avoiding this um, yeah it's it, it's bothersome okay with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, I do feel like you're kind of, uh, you're releasing this situation. So you're kind of weighing up the pros and cons about releasing it, to be honest. Because whoever that you're dealing with here, I feel like um, they have this decision to make and they're kind of not really wanting to make the decision. And that's making you feel unhappy. So you're like, well, maybe I just need to move on. And if I do, what am I gonna do? You know, but you're you are finding balance in the situation, um, not completely balanced, but pretty pretty well, pretty well. Okay, let's see who you're connecting with. Show me who Cancer is connecting with. Some of you may have had a little bit of a financial loss recently. All right, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Hangman. And we have the Moon. Could be dealing with another Cancer. Um, the person you're, you're connecting with, they're kind of defensive. Um, there's this feeling that they are defending um, it's weird, but it's a feeling that they're defending their nest. They're defending um, their family or their children or, you know, they're, they're defensive. So there's this, it's almost like they have painted you as being like, um, like snipping at them. Like you're, you're badgering. So there's a defensive energy and they're seeing themselves as the defender of, either a family or their children or something. They're, so they're kind of painting you as the bad guy. Um, this situation has gone on for a very long time. It's gone on this long because this person has chosen to let it go on this long. Because they could, they could reverse this at any point and they haven't. Um, I do think that the person you are dealing with um, there's a little bit of an illusion here. There's something hidden. And I feel like this person isn't always the way they present themselves. Um, they hide parts of themselves. They hide who they really are in some instances. Um, they wear a false mask. They do keep things hidden. And I, I feel like... Um, 
They keep secrets. So let's look at the energy of the connection. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Now that's going to be your energy because it's strong water sign energy. And the King of Wands in the reverse. You could be dealing with a fire sign. That would be a Leo, Aries, or a uh, Sagittarius. But I feel like um, I feel like this connection has like downgraded, and it's resulted as a direct um, a direct uh, result of the way this is being presented. It's almost like this person is presenting you as a as being threatening to someone or something else in some manner, and they have to defend against you. So that doesn't make sense to me because they're very much in your energy. As a result, you've pulled your emotions way, way back. Um, you don't feel light and free in this connection. You're not feeling um, that you can be yourself in the connection. And I do feel that they have pulled back as well. They're not as um, passionate about the connection as they were. It's directly related to the way they're now viewing you. So, to your credit though, Cancer, you're, you're finding balance in this situation. Alright, let's see what's directly affecting this. So, you both have pulled back. Because it has gone on so long, I feel that you are, you're ready to let this go. You're preparing to release this. Ten of Swords reversed. So there, at some point there was a painful ending here. Yeah, a painful ending um, where one party may have felt pretty betrayed. And that's affected this connection. Um, I do see healing taking place, and that's good. Let's look at the outcome at the end of the week. Page of Swords. So there may be communication. Um, if, it's, if there's not communication, I, I am seeing that uh, there's definitely going to be some, some uh, spying. Somebody's going to be looking in at the other person to see what the other person is doing, what they're up to. Um... If there is communication, be careful because it might be a bit immature, and it might um, it might be uh, a little sharp. So be careful with that. All right, bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So either an offer of love never came through, or it was pulled back. Possibly both. Definitely showing me, though, that the underlying energy here is, you know, one where there is, um, like, the emotions are being, like, closed down, shut down, held back. So let's clarify. Oh, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Is the Two of Pentacles here? Knight of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, you've worried about this in the past. I feel like you've you've cried. You've cried, you've you've shed tears. There's been, you know, sleepless nights even. Um you've had a lot of anxiety about this, which is it's admirable that at this point, Cancer, that you are now reaching a state of balance. Um, but I can definitely see why you are kind of weighing this up as to whether or not you're going to release this. Um, I don't see that you're wanting to go rushing in and talk with this person. Uh, I, I don't. I don't see that. I see your passion is kind of um, dying down a little bit too. 
Why is the Four of Pentacles here in reverse? Yeah, exactly what I said. They were moving so slow. They may have they may have uh, made a promise that they were going to come forward. There was going to be something um, solid, but they were just moving very slow. And I I see that um, your energy here is very much pulled back. I'm seeing a lack of communication. Um, you're healing your energy, and it's been a, it's taken a while for you to heal your energy. Um, you may not be completely healed yet, but I do see you working towards that. It's been a slow process. Um, let's see the. We have the Ten of Cups. Again, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. And we have the Hangman in reverse. Now, they have the Hangman in their energy. So, yeah, things didn't work out the way you wanted. Um, you were hopeful that this person would, you know, come to their senses. They would get a new perspective on this, make a decision. Um, and that everything would work out. You you guys would be happy. It, you would um, some of you may have children with this person, or you may have children. But you were seeing yourself as a happy family unit, and it didn't work out that way because it was contingent upon this person, you know, taking themselves out of this suspension that they put them themselves and therefore this relationship in. They would have to gain a new perspective. They'd have to look at things differently. They'd have to basically see the light in order to make a decision and then, you know, come forward. And I don't see that that happened. And so you're not happy with this situation. It's It didn't turn out the way you wanted at all. You were hopeful, but it didn't turn out the way you wanted. So I see you now are are making a decision. Yeah, and you've, you've really struggled with this decision. So, let's look at their energy. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Okay, we have the Six of Cups reversed, and we have the Star. So... They may be trying to heal something with someone from their past that they they had left behind. That may be who they're defending. Somebody that they previously released, they may be trying to balance things out with and heal that. Um, I also see that this person... This person is intent on releasing, you know, anyone from the past. Because there is something here that they have in their mind. Their their vision is set on. So, yeah, it looks like they're trying to heal something with someone from their past that they had previously released. That's who they're defending. Um, why is the hangman here? Sign of Aquarius, by the way. Queen of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. So the reason this was taking so long is because they were talking to this person from the past. The Queen of Pentacles is the committed partner. Um, so there's a previous partner, perhaps. There's a baby mama or somebody. This person, they, they've been talking with this person. That's why everything was taking so long. That's why the state of suspension. That's why everything was kind of stagnant. They were waiting. And in the meantime... They were communicating with this person. Now, for some, this is definitely, it was suspended because the page 
sometimes pages is, are children. So there could be a child and their mother involved. And this person is basically hanging on to and, and in this situation because of this child and this mother. This is who they're defending. And they're painting themselves as being um, so, like, um, such the hero. But you're not the bad guy here. So, yeah, that's, that's not a nice thing. Um, why is the moon here? If there's not a child involved, this person has been in communication with a, a previous person from their past. And they may not have told you this. It would have been kept quiet. Yeah, like I said earlier, this person, I feel like they keep, they keep secrets. Okay, we have the chariot. And we have the eight of swords. Yeah, they're all up in their head. They um, So they're all up in their head. They're moving things forward. They want to be successful here. But I do think that they have pretty much trapped themselves in a situation. You see, as they're presenting in one manner, they know inside that that's not the way it is. I think they may even be presenting you in a in a manner that's not truthful. There's secrets, there's things that are hidden here. And it's it's trapping this person. This person is is literally trapping themselves. But they're moving they're moving right on ahead. They sure are. That being said, um <laughs> That being said, the moon and the chariot are both signs of cancer. This person, whether they want to admit it or not, and they're not admitting it, they're keeping it a secret, they are thinking about you constantly because that's what's, that's what's got them in their, their head. That's the thoughts that are revolving in their head. But they probably are keeping that quiet. So this person keeps a lot of secrets. They've kept secrets from you. I feel like they're keeping secrets from someone else. Whoever it is they feel that they're defending. And they're really catching themselves up in all this, uh, all these secrets. And, and these this presenting of things in a way that makes them appear to be the good guy. And anyone else is the bad guy. So, Cancer, I can tell you that if they've presented this other person as the bad guy, they're probably not. Any more so than you are. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Uh, let's look at the um, connection. I don't see them taking action in this connection. So let's look at the connection itself. We have the Three of Wands reversed. We have the Hermit reversed. And the Five of Swords reversed. Wow. Yeah, well, I do think, I do see a conversation happening because while all this thinking is going on on both sides, I see, I see there being a conversation. Now, they may be the one to initiate it. It's hard to say. Um, I'll let you know if I see an indication of who will initiate. I, I don't see you doing that, but we'll see. Um, but their goal in, in having this conversation will be to end this argument or this, uh, the ill feelings between the two of you. There was a painful ending here. I do see that there were most likely harsh words said um, or there was something here. This person was in their ego. I can tell you that. And they had this energy in the past of, you know, that they were going to fight you. 
they're going to try to de-escalate that, bring that away. Um, the weird thing is, I don't see them taking action, but I see a conversation happening. Now, I'm not seeing you take action either, so I don't know how that's going to happen, but I see a conversation happening. It will be after a period of time where you both have pulled back and not communicated. Now, on your side, Cancer, I don't see you waiting for this person. I think you have stressed about this enough. You haven't been talking with this person. You have really shut your feelings down here. And you're realizing that this person brings about a lower vibration energy in you. And so I feel like you're, you're going to tell this person, I'm not waiting for you. I'm not going to wait around. Uh, let's see why the Ten of Swords is in reverse. All right, we have the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords. Yeah, it'll be them most likely. Page of Swords is um, communication. Be careful, it might be a bit immature. It could be a little bit cutting. Now that's in your outcome as well. So they're definitely looking um, to see what you're doing. And so they're curious about you. They're very curious about you. They've got themselves hung up in this situation with someone else, whoever it was that they're defending, but they're curious about you. And I feel like they're going to be the ones who's going to be the, the, the person who broaches this, um, this conversation. Um, I see in your energy that you're, you're pretty wounded here. You're, you're feeling pretty, um, <laughs> you're kind of over it. Um, and you're kind of looking at all the stuff that has taken place, how long it has taken them, you know, the healing that you have done, the healing you still have to do, and the fact that you're beginning to let go, and all of a sudden, here they pop up. So I feel like you're going to take all of that into consideration because I can see that it does bring up that part of you that does want to resolve things with this person. There is a part of you that wants to overcome the problems and work things out. Um, they are going to approach you. But remember, remember that they're not, they're, there's a, they wear a false mask, Cancer, so be careful. Let's clarify the Page of Swords. Now, this is in your outcome at the end of the week. So, like I said, I do see communication. I'm seeing it all throughout um, the um, shared energy. Okay. Two of Wands. We have the Moon. Wouldn't you know it? It's in their energy. And Queen of Wands. Could be dealing, like I said, with a fire sign. Um, all right, so I do see, I do see this uh, communication. I do feel it will come from this person. However, they're still wearing a mask. There are still going to be secrets. There's still going to be things that are left hidden. Um, and so it's going to leave you. And by the way, they're going to be the one to take action here. Um, with this Queen of Wands. It's because they are very attracted to you. There is a deep physical attraction here. There's a passion here. And while they have kind of been able to like push that down because they felt a bit, I don't know, like self-righteous, um, it's like they were buying their own story. Um, it still resurfaces, okay? I see you kind of turning your back on them though. And they're going to be shocked because they're not going to see that coming. You may not see them coming in. Well, I guess you will now. But um, yeah, they're seeing you as just, you know, somebody they really want to be with. And there's that, that spark between you. So I think they will take action. They will come forward. They will communicate. And I definitely feel like they're going to be keeping secrets though. Well, as they're keeping you in the dark, I see you kind of turning your back on them. You have the Two of Wands. So 
you are going to turn your back and you're going to move in another direction. I don't see you, I don't see you like, uh, I don't see you wanting to resurface this. There's that feeling of betrayal. You're recovering, but I don't, I don't see you recovering with this person. So, some of you have have another um, another offer. You may have another offer that you haven't yet accepted that might be out there, and that's what you're weighing the pros and cons about. That may be what is bringing this person in as well. They may energetically feel it, but regardless, I see you moving in a new direction. Um, you'll consider it, but I don't see you going in that way. I don't see you waiting for this person, and you're going to communicate that to them, that you're not waiting for them anymore. All right, bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. There's that offer. The one that um, is turned down. It's an offer being turned down or an offer being withheld. Could be either way. They may still be withholding the offer. And if they do make an offer, I feel like... And I don't see one being made. I just see them trying to bring in communication and bring in some passion. Um, if they do, I feel like you'll turn it down. All right, Cancer, I'm going to pull from the Fortune Cookie Oracles. We'll see if there's any further messages or guidance. I'll pull one for each of you. Pulling for Cancer and their person. All right, Cancer, for you, we have Jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. So if you do have another person, I do feel that this uh, it's going to bring this person out. E even if they don't know, I feel like um, energetically they're going to feel it. And some of you do have someone that is coming into your life. Um, it's an offer that's trying to, to make its way in. Um, be careful and guard yourself against jealousy because there is another person here in this person's energy. Don't get tied up into that, okay? You're way too good for that. All right, for the cross watcher, we have achievement. Enjoy the limelight, you've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. So, it looks like things may improve for this person with regard to business, um, which is good. However, um, there could be some health problems in the family, so be aware of that. All right, I hope this has been helpful. If you would, like and share this video. If this has resonated with you at all, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to drop a comment, feel free to do so. I will be happy for you to do that. Until I see you next week in the monthlies, namaste.